Today I wanted to try doing kind of more like of um, a CD haul. So um, let's get started. Okay, first I have one of my very first CDs. Um, I apologize for the um, beat up case and pretty sure I lost parts to it, but that is My Chemical Romance, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. So, um, that's the, um, behind the CD and that's the back. Um, people, like, have said, and I'm 100% positive it's true, but, like, Gerard did the art for this, Gerard Way. He did the, uh, cover art for this, and if I'll find the front of it, I'll show you. And then from the same band, we have MCRX, the Black Prey, Sessile and Ghosts. I don't have the actual, you know, Black Prey, like, just Black Prey, so. This is what I got. I get most of my CDs from Valley Village and HMV, by the way. And there's the band, and there's the um, back of it. That's not back. That's back. That's not front. This is the front. And then when you open it up, let's see. That. And this is going to be a long ass video. I fucking apologize already. Um. And the CD is just, you know, generic white. Um, that. And. Oh, I forgot to mention. My favorite song off Three Years for Sweet Revenge is probably. Give them Hell Kid, or um, you know what they did to guys like that in prison. It's not a fashion statement, it's a fucking death wish. And my favorite song from this is probably Disenchanted, um, Sleep, um, House of Wolves. My favorite off of the Moon with Ghosts is uh, Party at the End of the World. And from the same band. We have Danger Days, True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. I was actually shocked I found this one. Like, I didn't order online. I just went to the store to see what they had. And I was really shocked they had that game here. And, again, really nice artwork. All of the MCR stuff is really, really nice. And really, it's like a detonator. And, um... There's some artwork, and, um, yeah, it's just really cool, and there's Mr. Gerard Way, and we have some pretty cool stuff there. Alright, Toro, Princess Afro, alright, um, Mikey and Frank. Um, my favorite song off this is probably a uh, planetary pla planetary planetary go. Just because it's just so upbeat and this whole album is just different from what they do. Or the only quote for me is "You're really good." But the whole, when this first came out, the whole concept of this was really new to like MCR fans, obviously, because from the like old Emo 5, this was pretty different. And I also have The Black Parade is Dead, and it's like an old movie. And there's the CD and the. D and the DVD, and it has like footage from a concert, and it has like the live CD, and um, this is really fucking sad. I actually, um, on my wall, I actually have um, the message from it. I don't know if you can see that, but 
Yeah, I have the message from it on my wall. And it's just like a generic, you know. Thank you. I'm sorry for keeping this all alive. Um, you know, generic. You know, just a Martin. Just stuff from the concert. Well, that's, that's a sexy color right there. And I always think about like what MCR fans do and they look back on their phones and be like, fuck, I wish I was back there, you know, because no one will ever experience what that ever again. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're crying gross and little tears right now, which you're probably not. But and I also have uh, May Death Never Stop You, which was their um, EP, The Greatest Hits. Oh yeah, this one's a good one. Like Skylines and Turnstiles, Knives and Sorrow, Cubicles, you know, stuff from I Brought You by Bullets, Bullets Era, which is my favorite area, personally. And that's pretty good. Also, uh, Fake Your Death is a really good one on this one. I'm sorry I sound sick. I think I'm getting sick. And here is the uh, artwork on the back and the front. It's just stone. Apparently, it's the death of them. 2001 to 2013. Right. 2001 to 2013. Mikey, 2001 to Frank, 2001 2013. Matt, 2001 to 2004. Oops, side. And Bob, 2001 to 2010. Thank you for the venom. Oh, it says thank you for the vacuum. Thank you for the vacuum, my favorite. James, 2001 to 2013. Have any of you ever listened to, like, um, Death Spells? You know, Frank and James Band? They're really good. You should give them a listen. And the next one, we're going to a bit of a different band now. Uh, we have Vessel from 21 Pilots. This was, uh, this has had such a huge impact on my life, this album. And you see, here's the, oh, I forgot to show you, um, behind the album is just the stone guy again. And for Vessel, back to Vessel, here's the front, here's the back, um, we have, you know, the old click symbol, yeah, old, I know, and then on the front we have that, and at the back it's Tyler and Josh, and some pretty sick pictures. Oh, cute. And then just lyrics and stuff, and this one white page of all the black ones. Um, and behind my favorite song off of this one is probably um. Fake You Out, or uh, Ode to Sleep, Semi-Automatic, they're all really good. And behind the CD, we have the grandparents shaking hands. And then we have 21 Pilots. And the next one obviously has to be Blurry Face from... 21 Pilots. Um, this one was a bit different from their last album. All of their, like, the booklets in them, they'll have at least one sarcastic phrase, and that's what makes them funny and great. I don't know what I'm talking about, so if you haven't exited this video already, I'm so sorry. Also, we have, um, 
already face on the back. Also, I'm written by Tyler Joseph. We have the um, lyrics, and then we have them. And then we have the, uh, you know, the new click symbol. And behind that is just some more artwork that's real edgy. Okay. And next, because I'm not paying $500 to get self titled or really not best on eBay or whatever, it's way too much money. Um, next, we have. Um, oh, here. We have a few recants went out by Panic of the Disco. Okay, the only albums I don't have from Panic of the Disco are Pretty Odd and Death of the Bachelor. Um, Pretty Odd they had at the music store, but I just said I had to get Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die instead. So I don't have Pretty Odd. And this. Yeah. Lyrics are on the back, and then the whole thing makes like this huge collage. It's really cute. And this guy, for some reason, I always thought looked a lot like Ed Sheeran. Like, do you see it? Am I the only one? Is that weird? Oh god, I hope my parents are up in here. Yes, I still live with my parents. I'm 13. <laughs> um, we have some, you know, roses, pretty generic. We have, you know, old emo ass band members when they, <coughs> when he uh, still had band members and they are all wallowing in fear. Fear. Oh yeah. Also, my favorite song off Glory Face is probably Heavy Dirty Soul or Polarize. I love Polarize. Or not today, or Message Man, but Polarize, it will always hold a special place in my heart for some reason. And a few can't sweat on my favorite one, probably the only difference between Marty Dawn and Suicide is the press coverage, or Time to na Dance, or There's a Good Reason These Tables are Number Tiny, you just haven't figured it out yet. They're all uh, really good. Then we have Vices and Virtues, Brendan, Yuri, and Spencer Smith. This is the back, just a piano, and um, some flowers, and this, these are just like old like vintage style stuff, and then these lyrics, and some, a few pictures here and there, and then the back is like a hot air balloon. My favorite song of this is probably um, Ready to Go, Sarah Smiles, because it's really cute and it's about his wife, obviously. Um, memories, trade mistakes, they're all really good. And then, as I was saying before, we have Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. Um, this was, see, look at that self-centered narcissist. I love him. Don't take me seriously. Um, we have some... Pictures of them. Look at that forehead. High quality forehead. And Spencer still. Oh, I'm just gonna call. You can see that. You can't, obviously. But I have shitty lighting here. Dallin will always be my favorite member of Panic at the Disco. He'll just always hold a special place in my heart. See, look at this tall glass of water. Um. Brendan, 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 Brendan. There's the uh, CD is just like gray sky. Behind it is just a picture of them again. Just a, you know, gray sky. Um, my first song off this is probably uh, Vegas Lights, Nicotine, Girls, Girls, Boys, um, Casual Affair. That's the last of the. Oh, can you see this? Oh shit. I should probably fucking cover all this up. Like, so, oh fuck. Um, next we have um, From Under the Cork Tree by um, Fall Out Boy. This is a good album. This kind of this reminds kind of reminds me of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, if any of you have seen it. Um, 
I have never actually taken like a real good look inside of this. Oh, there's a fucking emo. Fuck emo. Fuck emo. This whole thing actually kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, from Murder Prime, kind of vibe. It's probably, I'm probably going insane, but. And then there's just, you know, nice scenery. There's the, uh, curtains. This is going to be an actual wellness video. I'm sorry if you're still here. And my favorite one is I slept with someone from Fall Boy and all I got was a super rock song written by me. Champagne for my real friends, real pain for my sham friends. Our lawyer made us change the name of the song so we can get sued. Dance dance, show we're going now. No big quick baby in the corner. This is just a overall really good album. Next is my personal favorite Fall Out Boy album, Fall Out Do. Probably pronounced that way fucking wrong, but I think I'm pronouncing it right. Probably has an accent, but nobody wants to hear that. Remember when this was still eligible? It probably still is. Like, if I actually texted the number, it would probably. Yeah. And then we have some crazy artwork. Peter King Yeah, I put that up. Peter Lewis can who wants the third. Yeah. Joe Troman. Andrew John Hurley. Wait, I just realized. Yeah, Peter Lewis gets and wants. Third. And thank you to all our friends. Friends and loves. Yeah. Where to go? The CD's gone. Oh, wait. Casually just remembered that it's actually in my CD player, but it's just, you know. Also, um, before we were on the topic of Panic at the Disco, I went to one of their concerts in July and somehow was fucking lucky enough to get this. It's Kenny's guitar pick and he threw it like right at me. I almost find somebody in the face for it, so. I might do a video on this later. Um, also, we have Fall Out Boy Greatest Hits, and needless. Oh, yeah, my favorite song from that was um, Head First Slide into Cooperstown on a Bad Bet. And this, it's just, you know, basic greatest hits like anything else. Greatest Hits, this one's really generic. It's just that. Next, we have something a little bit different, but not too different. We have, um, Green Day, uh, Nimrod. First. This one was probably King for a Day, Last Ride In. You know, it's like, this is like a clock, kind of. It's like an old grandfather clock. And this Oh, Billy. What were you thinking, man? No. Green Day, Mike. You know, generic. Just like, you know, all edgy punk bands were in the 80s. Um. One of the other ones was actually a really fucking sad album. 21st Century Breakdown. Um, I like 21 Guns, Know Your Enemy, I, this one's also pretty fucked, um, had this one for a long time. That's a really good album. Also, um, what's this? Oh, what's this? Okay. We have Blink-22, Enema of the State. This is the only one I have, and pro I probably have some more somewhere, but, um, you know, like, medical kind of thing. She actually got arrested for like something, prostitution or something like that. I forgot. And then this makes another scene similar to Fever You Can't Sweat Out, but slightly different. And um, yeah, this is a really good album, and it was their uh, biggest album for say. Um, there's just a eyeball behind it. 
next one, which is also my um, last one, is Alice in Chains, Black Gives Way to Blue. Now, I grew up on Alice in Chains. Um, every day to preschool, my dad used to play it in the car. And Velvet Revolver, Alice in Chains, it was my shit. I went to a Velvet Revolver concert when I was like four. And it was absolutely insane. Favorite band when I was younger. I remember going to like one of the per se popular girls' cars for like a field trip. And she's like, do, what do you like? We have Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana. She's like, do you have any Alice in Chains? And I fucked everything up. Nobody talked to me after that. But now I have some great friends. Um, shout out to Lexi on Lexi Foster. She's my best friend. And Lexi's my best friend. And I've. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of good friends now, and I didn't need to. I'm oh, glad I fucked it up. She's become a bitch. So it's just, you know, generic lightning. Um, just a uh, heart, you know, generic. But I, it, it was my shit. Um, I grew up on them. Okay. Um, I guess that concludes today's video. I'll, I'll probably post like an uploading like a schedule soon. I don't know when. I mean, this is my first video, right? So I'll probably come up with a clear thing if anybody wants to watch me. Probably not, but. So I hope you had a fun day with me. I had a fun day. Fuck, it's like Shane Dawson's. Okay. I'll be uploading more, probably. Depends on what you guys like. And uh, links are in the description to my social media and. Yeah, I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.